many eggs did you want? Six. <laughs> you really think you can eat six eggs? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you guys look like big kids sitting there having your breakfast. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> it's on my food hole. Hey, Royal, is that good? Good job. Hey, okay. Mama. You're welcome. Hey, Mommy. You're welcome. Hey, Mommy, Mommy is the best. <laughs> Mommy is. Mommy is the best. I didn't tell him to do Mommy is the best. Mommy, Mommy is best. the best. Mommy is the best. Thank you. You looking at our books? Grace is doing math. Well, holding truly. Look, she's doing it right. It's so cute. Oh, you're holding it right, truly. Good job holding that. Good job teaching her. <laughs> this is so cute. You want me to watch you? Alright, what are you showing me? We really need to get started on our day. Okay, ready? He can do it. Woo! One thing we do in our homeschool is we start the morning with, I just call it morning time. People call it all different things. Sometimes they call it morning basket. Some people make it super organized and incredible. I just keep it very simple. We read a devotion that has to do with science. So, hi. This is one of the ones that we use. There's a series of these by Lou Giglio. Hi. Hi. And then, hey. So today's will be How Deep is the Deep? We are learning American history this year, and we just went over the Boston Tea Party in Classical Conversations. So we're reading this book. I just let the kids pick out a simple picture book, and then usually one of my new readers will help read it because typically the words are pretty easy. And then Brighton just asked if we could read this book, so we're gonna read this too. I actually feel like this is the most important thing that we do every day because it just brings everyone into focus on what we're doing like okay now it's school time and then also it just kind of brings us all together as a family each morning and then it like chills everyone out and then of course reading to your kids every day is super important so we can't read brown bat and planets so you got to pick one you want to do brown bat big brown bat okay now, if you're wondering if this time is totally chill and uninterrupted, it's not. <laughs> it's interrupted constantly, especially with by the twins. It can be kind of stressful, but I've found that if I just push through, it's actually re there's a reward every time. Um, sometimes go better than others. Wait, you can't climb up there. You want some water? Here. The heavens tell the glory of God, and the skies announce what his hands have made. Day after day, they tell the story. Night after night, they tell it again. Under his mother's wings and drinks the warm milk she makes for him. So does she, she nurses him. Yeah, they're mammals. That's cool. I don't think I knew that you about that. that. No, I just learned something new. We usually also have poetry. Um, but one, I can't find my poetry book that we usually read. Will we go get it? Also though, there was a poem that Benjamin Franklin wrote in this book that was really funny about how nobody liked King George III. So that was actually kind of fun. One thing I try to do is read living books. This book was a story, but there was tons of true information in it about bats, just about how they birth their babies, how they feed them how they fly, about echolocation. So although it told a story about one bat family, it actually just taught the kids and me 
all about bats, which is pretty neat. So that's the kind of books I try to read to my kids as much as I can. And that way it's interesting to them, but then we also learn. Next we have our classical conversations memory work. And then we do computer school and then Joyful has her writing and grammar and then we're done. So it takes a couple hours. The younger kids maybe have school for at most an hour or two. Joyful has school for at least three hours and then Gracie's is like five plus hours. Okay, you gonna help me guys clean up, clean up. Everybody make a pile here. Let's make a pile of books. Yeah. Everybody clean up. You are so cute, but I regret cutting your hair. So her hair was in her face, so I cut her some, can we shut, see it? So I cut her some little bangs and I regret it. Clean up, clean up. You guys are so smart. Good job, oh be gentle. Good job. Lulu, I regret cutting your hair. Now if we sweep it over, she still looks cute, of course, but I thought I was doing her a favor, but really I just botched her haircut. I totally regret it. What does it say? Baby. It's a baby horse called a colt. Yeah, baby horse called a colt. You got to sit down, please. You can't have another bath in the sink. <laughs> Here, sit down. No bath. No bath. How about lunch? <laughs> come here. Good job finishing cleaning up. All right, come on. Okay, nap time. Complete success. Um, I could go work in the garden right now, but Joyful actually needs help with some things, and then also I'm tired, so I'm going to take like... 30 minutes to drink coffee and do a couple things I'd like to do and then we'll head out to the garden. Working out down there yet? Yeah, I'm going right now to work in the garden. Oh. Do you want to come or do you want to play for a little bit longer? Mommy, look. They have like secret tunnels down there. Oh, I love it. Because I put these like two things Yeah, I love that. Rest time's over for me. I have a few jobs I need to try to get done today. But I don't have a ton of time. So, one of the first things I need to do is get all the sweet potatoes into the crawl space. But I think I'm going to let the kids do that job. Another job we got to get these carrots thinned. There's still a ton of cleanup that needs doing. So we've still got that to do, but not today. The thing I'm going to work on right now is digging the last of these sweet potatoes. I came out here the other day to begin, and we had a ton of mole damage. I'm not really sure that this row is going to have a great harvest because it was looking like the mole damage was going to be pretty bad. But the really fun thing about gardening is you don't actually know until you dig them up. So let's dig them up. Whoa, you can still eat it. All right, let's finish up the last two. Oh, you've still got one. There's still some in here, see? I know. Do you want me to help dig them out? Yeah. Beautiful. I can feel around and make sure there's not more. Sometimes I've been finding them like way back in here. This is the last plant. Other than that one. I think that one might have already gotten pulled. Maybe. Oh yeah. Looks like another good harvest. We do have mole damage on quite a few. But quite a few of them look like this. Whole plants. We're eating up. 
so that was kind of a bummer. Let's see, but I think I can just cut this off and then cube this, cook it, and freeze it, or even freeze dry it into like a sweet potato puree. Obviously, this one's a little too eaten up to save it. This one too. But yeah, we could cut off part of that one. No, no, we couldn't. This one we could though. What you doing? Did you have a good nap? <laughs> How are you doing? That is some hot and sweaty work. Okay, we need to go out and work in the garden now because if we're gonna go play soccer tonight, we need to do our indoor jobs at four and eat by five-ish because we have to leave at six. Okay? <laughs> Is that fun? Can I have your puppy? Thank you. Yeah, once you're awake, you don't need a puppy. All right, let me show you boys the job we're gonna do. It is hot. Grab the gorilla cart, and then you're gonna start putting the sweet potatoes under the house. Just put them all over these tarps wherever they'll fit, okay? Chris, you're gonna help me. Truly. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna watch the babies. Some of the little ones are a little bit too cured. All right, go ahead and stick them in. Hopefully they're okay. Oh, my mint is growing nicely. Mommy, what was that for? What? Oh, this one has a sauce. I'll help you get it out. I'll help you get it out. Don't throw them, they have soft spots for some reason. Okay, that is a huge bummer. I think it was too hot in there and it actually oh, baked yeah. them. Some of them got baked, like literally baked. It's cooked. That's, oh. wow, that's really good. upsetting, but I did it to myself. Like every one of them. The, the side that's like touching the black plastic it just got too hot in there. What I'm gonna have to do ASAP is get them inside, cut it off, cook them, cube them, freeze them, freeze dry them to save them. Any of them that have the black spots. So hold on, we gotta come up with a new plan. We need to take them into the house instead. Yeah, like this one's cooked. They're all, they're, they're cooked. Every one of them. That's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, well, let's, we're gonna have to work hard and get them inside and I'll get them put up this weekend. I don't have time to do it today or tomorrow. I'll have to do it this weekend. All right, well, it is salvageable. Just gonna be a lot more work than it would have been. Gosh, I am just so frustrated with myself for not being more careful with my harvest. Cause that was a lot of really good food. <laughs> well, they're always catching the critters. I still think this is a viable option. I just think that I should have been a lot more careful about the temperature I let it get in there. Rather than just thinking, oh, it'll be fine. <sighs> Mama, I'm a uh, this is how you learn though. It's just really hard. It's really hard to create your own problems and then have to deal with your mistakes. It's heartbreaking. Thirty minutes. Look at these weird things that go on the So this one is soft all the way through. And so we're gonna cut it open. I'm pretty sure it's just like a cooked potato. Yep. It's cooked. <laughs> Fun to be a baby. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Can I have your passy now that you're not hurt anymore? <laughs> Thank you. Come on, Lulu. Let's go up to the garage. Let's go. Mom. All right, Lulu. Good helper. She is so good at helping. Oh, I know. Wearing her life jacket. Gotta be safe. Where's Royal? All right. Well, that's the last of our good harvest. This won't all go to waste, but if I work hard this weekend, I can save some of it. Maybe half, maybe half of it. Hey, um, do you have just a second? Uh, so I have bad news. I ruined all of the sweet potatoes. Like all of them are cooked like they were in the oven instead of cured. Oh, man. I just, I, it was too hot in the greenhouse. But on Tuesday, they weren't. So it just happened in the last two days because on some Tuesday. Some of them were, though. Joyful told you some of them were, had turned colors or looked rotten or something. I don't even remember that, but that's what she said, too. She said, I told you, Mom. What you think? Do you like it? Mama, is it how you use chopsticks? Yeah, that's how you use chopsticks. Where are we going? To soccer. To soccer. Feels so good tonight. You ready to play some soccer? He's like, I don't know. Cat. Cat. Go get it. Go get it. See, that's, that's the um, holster cat. Well, one, one gentle finger. Hey, look, Royal, there's another cat. Royal, there's another cat. There's Royal. Royal, look, there's Royal. Cat. Cat. Did you get it off Amazon? Oh. I will have to look for that. Oh, get it, girl! Henry. Follow through. This is Lois. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 oh, is he yelling fast? <laughs> <laughs> Henry's yelling fast. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.